by far the most difficult reflection. It's over the line y equals x. But it's really not difficult at all. It's just that people forget where the line is. And people forget the rule. So I'm going to first uh, not use the rule and just reflect over the line itself. So the whole thing is, where is the line? All right, this is the y-axis. This is the x-axis. So where is this line y equals x? Well, usually on a test, they do not give you the line. But if you ever get confused, just kind of substitute some coordinates in. So when does y equal x? Well, if you have coordinate, like, say, 0 as the x, y has to equal that. 0, 0. So here's one point. Then if you put 1 down as the x, y has to equal it. 1, 1. And then one more. If x is 2, the y has to be 2. So 2, 2 is on the line y equals x. 3, 3, because they're equal to each other. 4, 4, and 5, 5, and 6, 6, and 7, 7, and 8, 8, and 9, 9, and 10, 10. Also, negative 1, negative 1, negative 2, negative 2, negative 3, negative 3, negative 4, negative 4, and so on and so forth. As long as the x equals the y, that's the line y equals x. So now what I do, since we're dealing up in the upper part of the, the graph right now, I'm just going to go ahead and draw a dotted line up to signify the line. And you could go down as well. So that's the line y equals x. Now you know what you're reflecting over. Well, just like with the reflection of, of uh, an object over the y-axis or the x-axis, you always count towards the reflection line. Whatever you're reflecting over, you count towards it. So I'm going to count this A towards the reflection line, and once I hit it, I'm going to go down that same amount. So I'm going to count A, 1, 2, 3, Four. I hit the reflection line. Now I'm going down. One, two, three, four. And I'm going to label that as soon as I get down there. A prime. I'm going to count B. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine. And I'm going to go down. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. 8, 9. And that is B prime. Then I'm going to count D. 1, and I'm there. And then 1 down, which is D prime. C is 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6 away. That means C prime has to be 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6 away. C prime. Now, A goes to B, B goes to C, C goes to D, and D goes to A. And that is your reflection. Now, you could, um, you could check it by folding on the reflection line, and you could see that the A will match up with A prime, B will match up with B prime, and so on, so on and so forth. But the easiest way, the easiest way to actually do this reflection is not doing what I just did at all. The only time you're going to use this method is when you forget the easy rule. And the rule is simply that xy becomes yx. So you got it. When reflecting over the line y equals x, you just switch the x and the y coordinates. And if you can remember that, that will take you... To, it, to an easier method 
in this reflection. But if you can't remember the rule, there's still a way to do it just by counting towards that reflection line. But you have to know where that line is. So if you want to list some of the coordinates of the original, um, A is at 2 and 6. So A is 2, 6. And without looking at, without, I mean, if you didn't have the reflection done already, without looking at it, it has to be 6, 2. So you're just switching the coordinates. And let's just check A prime to see if it's 6, 2. It is 6 over and 2 up. B, the original B, is negative 3, 6. And again, without looking at the graph, I know that B prime has to be 6, negative 3. And let's just check. B prime, 6, negative 3. C, the original C, is negative 3, 3. I know C prime has to be 3, negative 3. And let's see, 3, negative 3, it is. D is 2, 3, the original. And I know that D prime has to be 3, 2, using the rule of switching the coordinates. So D prime, 3, 2. And that is a reflection over in the line y equals x. You pick the method that you're most comfortable with. I like the rule, but I could remember the rule. If you don't remember the rule, if you get confused with all the rules uh, in the transformations, um, then don't use the rule and just go ahead and count towards the reflection line always. If you're reflecting over the y, you would count towards the y. And if you're reflecting over the x, you would count towards the x. If you're reflecting over the line y equals x, you have to make that line y equals x, just like I did in this video, and then just reflect over it, count towards that, and then down that same amount. And that's the video.